All right, let's continue Yoshi's Crafted World. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. If you've been enjoying, I'm gonna go into the stage. The one where I didn't get four coins, and I know where they are now, because I went through the process <laughs> of finding where I missed it by watching someone else do it, and I hate, I hate the answer, but I know where it is. I need to give this Yoshi a costume, so... Yahoo. Sure. Why not? It'll be quick. But, I bet for those that have played this game and... Maybe, maybe got to see me walk around the stage for like 40 minutes. Um, it might be... The time to scream internally, I guess. I'm going straight there. I know where it is. It's pretty much in the one spot I did not look. I'm not exaggerating when I say, like, it's the one spot I didn't look. right at the end of the stage. doing the whole stage, I have to. I scream internally now. Alright. So that's where it was the whole time. <sighs> All right, there we go. Back to perfect scores.
now we can move on. Um, there was another, another hunt thing I needed to do. But I also haven't done the, the reverse sides of some of these stages. Seems he stopped by while I was out meandering. Yes, you're right. I heard about you from my little brother Finn, I'm Cole. Say, could you help me find some souvenirs here in Sunshine Station? Let's see here. Cows, if I should do the trick. Okay. Um, we'll just do the cow thing first. It's funny because I was hitting those things on purpose. <laughs> if I only could have contributed to that already. that even supposed to be? What's what's supposed to be? The purple stuff? I don't know. I mean, I'm guessing it's supposed to be water, because it's like a hot tub, but then I guess because it's a crafted world, it's jelly. So instead of using actual water, it's just like jelly. I don't know. The, the color is the color of the Yoshi, so that's why I picked it. I mean, if we go by the Super Mario Brothers movie from 1995, King Cooper in that movie takes a mud bath, or... It's like in some sludge, I guess. So we could say that it's on the same level of that. Yoshi just enjoys uh, that purpley... Sludge? Jello? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> but hey, Nectar. It's just... It's a hot tub. Maybe Yoshi doesn't, doesn't enjoy water and enjoys... The Jello. The jiggling rubs you the wrong way, like it's off. I mean, it's probably like a putty more than anything. It's like that fake slime that you get. Clothesline? Okay. Never made fake slime as a kid? Something like that you... To do in science class. I mean, it's usually made out of cornstarch. Typically. You just add enough cornstarch. But they do it to teach you about, like, uh, non-Newtonian liquids, or whatever they're called. Those things where they're, like, a solid, but then they're also liquid at the same time. So, it's so weird, it's like, the object is solid, but then when you gotta grab it, it's, it's liquid and it just slips through your hands. So, that's where, that's where I learned about that stuff, it was like making fake slime. If you add too much of one particular ingredient, it becomes that. The 
concept of it is really cool, but it's also like, typically when it happens is when you really, really mess up in baking. That's where it's more, most likely to happen. Clothesline. However, oh, there. Yeah, I've only ever made it on purpose, but that being said, I have seen videos of people messing up. And accidentally forming it. Kinetic sand is cool. Yeah, that was sold as a toy. Marketed as, like, magic sand or something. What? Paper plane? Okay, now it's on flip side. Okay, so now I do the flip side of the stage. So you didn't really do anything like that when I was small. Well, you were small. Uh, I mean, I didn't have those kind of toys either, but that being said, in school, the the slime was a thing. Because, yeah, they just, it was just, that's the way they got kids interested in science, was just showing stuff like that. Like, the, uh, the fake slime and just stuff like that. Or like, uh, making a train boom gate out of popsicle sticks and just a simple battery. Foam eruption? What's foam eruption? Is that similar to a volcano? We didn't even do the volcano thing. Like, that's something that I hear is common, but not never did that. The only thing that was common to most schools when I went to school, like elementary school, primary school, whatever you want to call it, there was the health education van, it was like this puppet called Harold the Giraffe. And so this van would turn up at your school and you would go into this van as a class, sit there and watch a puppet show. And this giraffe would tell you about health stuff. It happened a couple times a year because it was different topics like diet. And then there was another one on tooth care. Those are the two I remember. I'm sure there was there were more. It's a chemical reaction in glass to mix bubbles form really fast, so it grow. Like this foam tower shooting out of a glass tube. Is that like when you add um, men like Mentos to soda? Similar? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, just trying to visualize it. This can be like non-Newtonian Yoshi. The color cut almost blends in with, with the color of Yoshi. It's like, oh no, Yoshi's becoming a liquid. This is liquid Yoshi. Did see the bottles on the flip side. All right.
And then the only other thing, I guess that was sort of cool, was learning how to use a boomerang properly. <laughs> That's probably the only other thing I can claim is like, oh, that was neat that I got to do that. Hey, cat, how's it going? Oh, you, I can... Oh, that doesn't look right. When I'm crouched, <laughs> just Yoshi's head is fully submerged. Damn, Yoshi can hold its breath for quite some time. They do take kids to this place called Science Works, which is just a bunch of little things kids can play with. That's the other common thing. But I mean, in school, it was basically the fake slime making a train boom gate with uh, popsicles and a battery and I forgot what else. A mo just a simple motor. Pretty sure that's all there was to it. And then I'm sure when we learnt the boomerang stuff, there was the science behind that as well, as to why it comes back to you. And also the, the original design and purpose of it, and why. But that's stuff that I quite clearly did not retain. <laughs> hey, Lola, what's up? What, you were sleeping? I'm looking for... Milk. Yeah, we're just talking about sciencey stuff. Just because, uh, I guess it came up because of my Yoshi costume and what this, what this actually is. And I just said it reminded me of like the slime you would make in science class. I fell victim to a nap. That's fair. And if you still want to play Baldur's Gate, like, you can do so after this. I don't know why I'm collecting the doggos, I'm just here for the milk cartons. I forgot to tell you that, like, I finished the Stardew video thingy. I've just been busy cleaning up the apartment the past couple of days. So tired. End of it. I still got a little bit left to do. It's just this room here. I'm just gonna clean it up, but today I was doing ovens and shit. Today. Ugh. I can still smell the damn oven cleaner. Uh, it's already up, so it went up, like, not yesterday, the day before. I scheduled it to be, like, at 3am or something. And honestly, for, for something that I didn't really like, promote in the slightest. I just upload it and let it be. It's not okay. But, like, it got to the point where if I kept doing little edits and I kept just worrying about how long it was and all that, it was just never gonna get done. And the thing that bothers... The only thing that bothers me about it is, like, you can tell quite clearly when the audio is like, oh... He clearly recorded this on one day, and then this this audio he rec recorded on another day. I just, yeah. <laughs> what I need to do is I need to put a marker on the floor, and then be like, alright, stand here. In this spot if you're going to record audio for a video, and put the microphone in this exact spot. 
That's what I need to do for the next one, is like quite clearly mark where I need to stand. It's not that the audio is bad, it's just that at least I can hear a difference. Anyway, video editing problems. Wait, so in Hawaii they take you to tide pools to check out sea creatures, handling starfish, sea cucumbers. Oh, we did something like that as well, actually, now that you mention that. But it was more to... We followed a river down from the mountains to the ocean, and then we saw, like, the, uh... I guess the ecosystem that that supports, more or less. And then we went on a boat tour where, you know, this old man told the legend of, uh... The Bunyip, which is like this creature they use to scare tourists. I've talked about the Bunyip before. It's much like the drop bear, except it's it's in the river, so you know. Pretty cool. It is, yeah. <sighs> the only the only memory I have of that excursion is just uh I mean the sea urchins were pretty cool actually, but like one of the teachers, dis we made a stop at a at a gas station. Needed to refill the uh, the school bus's gas. I'm gonna use the term gas, petrol, whatever you want to call it. And one of the teachers decided to get uh, a gas station egg salad sandwich. And let's just say that sandwich did not agree with him an hour later. And um, we're up, so you know, you arrive at this this. It's like a national park. You arrive there, and then. There's like all these stairs and you kind of go to the top of this hill. It's pretty massive. It's like almost a mountain, but not really. Um, oh, there's the milk bottle. I'll see it now. So we got to the top and that's when nature calls. And, you know, I've never seen s someone run so fast down a hill. So I just have that memory implanted. And then, you know, the bus ride where it's just awkward. <laughs> This fucking recorder song in the background. I know it, it, it get it gets louder and louder. Believe me, like that st that stage I was doing for forty minutes trying to find those red coins. Like I, the recorder was just getting louder and louder. Growing up, I had a a friend who would play recorder, and they were not good at it. And it was just like this obnoxiously loud thing, and that's all I'm reminded of. You were here yesterday. Okay. Well, I don't know for how how long. I don't remember for how long. Like, I don't know if you were here for the full fucking 40 minutes. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's so nice. That's how I know I've 100%ed it. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, I mean, look, when nature calls, you gotta absolutely answer it, but it's just so unfortunate that it happened in front of a bunch of kids, because that's, you know that, that's just all that's gonna be talked about on the bus. We're basically a bunch of little animals, honestly. Like, this teacher once got fed up at us being so loud on the bus, and she just turned around and said, stop it, you... You're all acting like a bunch of animals. There was a pause for about five seconds, and then the entire bus just erupts into the sound of barnyard animals. So, quite literally, little animals. That's kids, yeah. Kids can be assholes. I've done the flip side here. Uh, were you looking for anything? In Yacht Steamboat, please, on the flip side of the port. Alright, got it. Did 
The guy's bathroom emergency is one of my core memories, you'd be honored. <laughs> Having a bathroom emergency as a core memory. There was one teacher that appreciated our antics. But yeah, outside of the starter video, I talked about this yesterday, just... I've been working on... So, gonna do like a tier list of all the Zelda games, like my tier list, since I've gone through all of them except two. But also just talk about, I guess, what each game... The memories I have of each game, more or less. And that's honestly a lot easier. Because it's just, it's a pretty quick conversation. I think the issue with the Stardew one was, like, I had to summarize so much footage. And then I also had to try and reconstruct what I would have said. It was like a re reconstructing a memory, so to speak, and a reaction. Which, at the end of the day, just took ages. And then between work getting busy for three months, it just took way longer than it should have. So, we'll see how it goes. If it does well enough, I'll, I'll do a follow-up to it. But I've learned a lot to not make it take that long. It was definitely worth the time either way, because I did learn quite a few things. Particularly when it comes to, like, scripting and... I like these enemies, it just reminds me of Yoshi's Island. Like, seeing an enemy that I saw in a childhood video game all nice and cool looking like this. It's my favorite thing I've seen so far. Honestly, the only way this game could be better would be to just have one of the old songs come up. Like, it has its soundtrack, which is great, but... I'll tell you what, the other Nintendo games have it right when they just remix an old song. That's why Tropical Freeze was so good. Because it, it had its own soundtrack, but then they had certain songs that mixed in stuff from 1, 2, and 3, like Donkey Kong Country. And they just sounded so good. Or like when Mario games sort of turn into a medley of uh, all the Mario songs. You would pee if they did, like, a crafted Yoshi Island mix. I'm not sure- I'm not sure that that has the intended, um, meaning you might want it, or interpretation. Like, just... I'm looking for, um, the steamboat thing. I don't know, like... I've never heard anyone say they would pee themselves to express, I mean, nostalgia excitement. I mean, usually it's like, you know, coming in your pants. That's basically the analogy people go with. So I, I guess you don't want to go with that. And I was like, shit. What else does does a dick do? Oh, a dick pees. Okay. Well, I'll pee myself then. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure if you laugh hard, yeah, 
pain can happen. Being is more inclusive, I suppose. Alright, you got me on that one. But I, I think, like, you could say it and mean it as, like, a, a metaphorical thing. Like, I know girls that say, oh, their metaphorical penis is erect when they react to stuff. It's fine. Where is this boat? Yeah, girl boner, exactly. Where's this boat? I've thrown an egg at each boat. Oh wait, it's that one there. I think. That is sneaky. A few weeks ago, wait, you and some friends got stuck in a loop playing the never-ending game of Uno. And one of your friends got so mad she threatened him to shit herself. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and have you ever been that mad that that's, that's like a threat? I, I can imagine that. I've I've had I've I've been threatened in certain ways before. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because Cat is telling me to shut up. Because that's that's in reference of this one time in Terraria. And that's as, that's as far as I go. If you know, you know. So wait, is there anything else to do here? Oh, small fish, right. Flip side of the ocean floor, collect five. Got it. It's too busy laughing. Peeing and excitement seems pretty reasonable in the face of shitting and anger. Uh, I suppose. Well, I suppose. I mean, I can imagine someone shitting out of anger. I, I don't think peeing out of excitement. I mean, peeing because you're laughing so hard, that's, that's something I can imagine. But just think think of a game that you've been waiting for for ages, and then just think of them announcing that game. Would you really use peeing as a description of what happened when that game was announced? Or just something so highly unexpected, you know? Dogs pee of excitement. Why do they get to be the only ones? Do they? I don't know. <laughs> okay, there's one. They do? Huh. I love how- I love how two of you just immediately confirm that, like, as if, oh, this is common knowledge, Will. Why don't you know this? to common dog knowledge. I, I've been around... Hang on. Is that one? No. Okay. Um, I mean, I've been around my grandma's house. She had pet dogs. But outside of that, not really much exposure.
Yeah, I had no idea. I can see it though. Mostly seen it from younger pups. It's not old dogs, okay. Yeah, I've never really paid attention to it, I guess. And when when I'd visit my grandma, like the dog would be excited to see us because we'd go out and play with it. We'll take it on a walk or something. Maybe I'm just not someone you get excited over to the point that you pee yourself. be a pregnancy thing if they've had pops that goes for humans too okay I, I know what you meant i didn't interpret it as like oh if humans have pops but i get it i activate entirely different body functions all right that's enough internet from you today Just <laughs> a Yoshi hiding in in this. I thought that would have been one on this tree, but... It could possibly in the, be in the foreground as well. What even is it? Some kind of putty? I don't know. It's a, I think this is supposed to be a hot tub. Like, it's been asked multiple times. My interpretation of it is everything is an arts and crafts project, right? So things aren't real objects. So this is supposed to be a hot tub. So they've taken a bottle cap and then filled it with something that is supposed to be like water. And the only water substitute I can think of is like maybe a fake slime or a jelly or something, you know? I would think it's fake slime. non-newtonian fluid exactly that, that that's what sparked the whole science conversation was what what is he what is even that that liquid i just picked it because it sort of matched the color of the yoshi so it's like liquid yoshi
I probably walked past it. I mean, this was the good Yoshi in Super Mario World. This was the one that could fly no matter what shell it had in its mouth. Red Yo the red Yoshi was the worst Yoshi. Because it turned anything into fire. Even blue shells. Yellow was alright. Yellow had its uses. I don't know where this fish is. I've looked. Uh, apparently I'm missing two. I thought I was down to one more. Alright. Pay more attention. At least there's no recorder. It's the same tune, it's just no recorder this time. It's probably in the foreground, and that's why I haven't noticed it. Because I've been looking in the background. Green Yoshi greater than all, but it doesn't have any abilities. So now there's just one more left. I should honestly just do this in spots and just see if I get a reaction. It. That has to be it now. That's a nice even number. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Fish extreme. I am I am fishing in in New Leaf to make money. It's just bug catching, and I don't agree. Um, is there anything else for me to do here? Guess not. What about here? I got the four coins from this stage. I hated the answer, but I got it. Oh, there's like a Poochie Pops version. Okay. And within three minutes. I just gravitate towards fishing when it comes to money making. Is there, uh, is there fishing in Baldur's Gate 3? If so, sign me up. catch up to them. 
Oh, I've already missed one. <laughs> I thought it was just a chase through the whole stage, but I have to... I have to do this quickly, or else... No, really? I've never played a game in, in that series, so you know. But I, I know people that are just super into that game. I'll keep trying, but I get the feeling that may have cost me it. Okay, yeah, no. There's no way I'm catching up to it. So pretty much I have to get it before that part. If I get to that part and I haven't gotten it, it's unlikely I'm going to get it. I'm hoping the other one isn't, isn't like on a timer as well. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> I like how they're riding the Yoshi as well. Get there in time. I thought that was the end. That's not too bad, it's supposed to be in three minutes. Poochie thing, yeah. This was a stage that I, I feel like it's its music is it doesn't fit. I don't know. It's a cave. It does it just doesn't sound very cave like. I mean, I guess parts of it do, but it's... I don't know. That instrument feels out of place. Am I wrong? No. In the background. Wait, 
Oh no, I'm going backwards. Okay. Gotta try not to get faked out by the carts. Do I know what snow crackers are? No. What's our snow crackers? dogs. Where's the explosive, dude? I gotta trust that there's one below as well. There. The flap is neat that it opens and closes again. Oh, this? Yeah, the arts and crafts theme, it's... Cool. It's like using it as a platforming, not gimmick, but distinction, I guess. Oh crap, I need one of these. I think it was 3.30. There we go. <laughs> Sent me a picture of these, what are they? But, but okay, it's, uh, all I see is like... I guess, what, what's the powder? It says no cholesterol. So they're rice crackers, okay. What, what's the powder? Oh crap, I accidentally went back in the level! Ah. Is it salt? Wait, oh, no I didn't. Okay, new stage. Uh, whistle stop rails. I could probably find them at an Asian grocery, if I go next time. I'll keep an eye open. I'm sad, the one that's pretty close to me shut down. I gotta go a bit further to go to one now. <laughs> this music... And the train sounds as well. You know, when the Nintendo 64 was out... Don't get me wrong, like, I was blown away by, by Mario 64 the first time I played that game. It, I think it's a memory that has stuck with me, and yeah, it's just... 
definitive moment when it comes to me playing games. Can't say I've ever experienced a leap like that ever again. But I'll tell you one thing. When I saw Yoshi's story, I really, really wanted to play that. More more than what I wanted to play Mario 64. Just because it looked like, oh, this is like a more advanced Yoshi's Island. And the fruit thing. I remember having um, gone to the library and they had a, a Nintendo magazine. That was uh, covering the release of the game and the, just all the screenshots from it. I was like, man, I really want to play this. In that magazine as well. They're talking about Superman 64. <laughs> Which... Oh, that article probably did not age well. Slightly sugar-coated and got cream and condensed milk. What? Not what I, I mean, not what I was expecting. So it's more of a sweet thing, then. Yeah, see, with, with sweet stuff, I, I have to be in a mood. Like, I, I like savory snacks more than sweet stuff. Or spicy and salt. That's, that's my go-to. Do I mean Yoshi's story? What did I say? I didn't say Yoshi's story, did I? Is that another Yoshi game? Probably made it up. Listen, Yoshi's World. Oh. I don't know. Whatever I said, it was incorrect. I'm sorry. Like, I've been cleaning all day and... Oven cleaner. I can still smell it. <laughs> so maybe it's done some permanent damage or something. But I'm also quite tired. No, it's, it's Yoshi's Story. Wait, no, that's you. It's right- the cartridge is like right fucking behind me. Hold on. It is Yoshi's story. Yeah, it's Yoshi's story. Mind you, it may- it may have been called something else in America, but... It is Yoshi's story. It- it- the format is basically this, but it's on Nintendo 64. Oh wait, I gotta throw, throw the, the tracks. Like, Yoshi's Story formed the foundation of this, this series. Like, you know, it, when it's in this style, this is the Yoshi's Story style. You never heard of that game? Really? It kind of became a meme for a little bit. Because the Yoshis are singing in the song, and because the audio quality is so low, like... You know the, those things where they play a sound and then half the people can hear one sound and the other half can hear something else? So for that game, um, the meme is they're singing Eat Asshole. I mean, they're not, but it, it, once I say that and you hear the song, it's like, oh shit. I can kind of hear it. You can play it if you want. <laughs> I would not want to hear that, that song on repeat. If you thought the recorder was, like, something that gets stuck in your head... ...or just, you know, too much... 
That one's worse. I don't need more of them, but I'm fine. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't have the D it wasn't on the DS, it was the Nintendo 64. I don't think it got re-released for the DS. I missed one coin somewhere. I'm gonna have to Oh wait, 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 wait. No, I did it. No, I did it. No, I did it. Yeah. That's not the menu song that's like, hang on. Uh, let's see this while oh, I'm looking for this up. Cool stuff we got. <laughs> I kind of like that. Found it. You read you ready? I'll have to mute the, the game audio here. <laughs> Just for a sec. But you tell me what this sounds like. This was the meme back in the day. Here it is. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's just that on a loop. So everyone used to say it sounded like eat asshole. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna ruin someone's childhood now. It's just like how in Mario 64 there was the Salong Gay Bowser thing. That was- Yoshi's Story had- had that, but like, it was Eat Arsehole. Is that why newer generations are so obsessed with eating ass? Just subliminal messaging, just- I guess that would imply a large percentage of the population just decided to play Yoshi's Story as children. I don't know. I like the bull. The bull is, is much like the cow costume. Look at this. I mean, there's the derpy cow. But also... I kind of like... I kind of like this one. But we're, gonna, we're going... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're going to stick to our... You know, slime Yoshi. <laughs> I 
<laughs> that one's kind of cool, too. Colors work with that. It's like a almost like a Pikachu, but not really. Whereas, so this one says chili bath. So that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, I'll do the, the B side. I'll go back and find the flower that I missed. I like the theme of the song. I wonder where the doggos are gonna be. horrendous. I can't believe I missed that. struggle. Yeah, barely, I know. It was like off it was off screen. It was definitely off screen. Hopefully the next one's on a balloon or something. A dog yet. Alright, here we go. It's probably here. to be here. I see it. Oh, sneaky. Yeah. Move further away. That's what I imagine is going to be a skill shot.
Felt like I had a gun. It's gonna make me do another shot, that's why I'm, I'm like on edge. Looks like it's only the first one that's going to be hard. Alright, it's just the first one. I'm not sure I did it in the time it asked me to. We'll see. Yeah, it's fine. I still gotta go back into the stage. I missed the flower at some point. I do like this game. I think the only thing I'll say about it that I, I wish was a little different. I think the soundtrack... It's nice, but I, it, I feel like I'm hearing the same three songs, just with different instruments. Just the the recorder part in particular. That's that's the melody I feel like I'm hearing in every stage at some point. Maybe it's not the same melody, but it makes it feel that way. Man, I wouldn't mind the caramel block. very lenient. Alright, so it's... It's probably in motion that I missed it, so I guess be on the lookout. this? No? Yeah, it's here. Alright, we're good. That's why I missed it. Alright, easy. Now just finish the stage. It seems every time I've, I've missed stuff, it's just one of those hidden cloud blocks. Cloud things. how the coins look in this game. They look very... I don't know, extra shiny. They look pristine.
I'm really looking forward to the new Mario game, I'll tell you that. I watched the trailer again recently and just the art style of the new one seems pretty nice. And it looks like it's gonna do weird stuff and I'm all about weird things in Mario games. Not too far away. It's like another couple of months. May as well. Oh, costume's gone. Yeah, she's out of the hot tub. It looks neat, yeah. It was quite the surprise. Still think about how they faked me out into believing there was going to be a new Wario Land game. When the Wario appeared on the screen, I was like, oh, we've already gotten a WarioWare game. This is this is a return to Wario Land or something. Nope. More WarioWare. It's been... How long has it been? I feel like it's been... 15 years at least. Let's see. How long? Mario Land, shake. When did it come out? Two thousand and eight. Yeah, it's been fifteen years. It's been it's been just over fifteen years since the last Wario Land game. That's so weird because that that series. For a while was doing better than Mario in terms of games on portable consoles. And then they just kind of stopped with them. I don't know why. Maybe the one on Wii didn't sell well. It might be the case. But I, I really like that game, it's just... The biggest flaw of that game is that it came out on the Wii at a time where just people were tired of... ...motion controls. Like, the novelty had, had worn off. Okay, apparently that's nothing. <laughs> Magnets. I mean, the mice are kind of cute and harmless. Yoshi just fucking murders them anyway. They're just playing with a magnet. They're not really harming anyone. They're, they're not armed. They run, they run away when they see their friends getting eaten. Yoshi just devours them all. And then Luigi's reaction to Yoshi laying the eggs. I'll never forget that. Oh yeah! <laughs> Out of all the voice lines to pick, it's just Yoshi lays an egg, Luigi's just like, Oh yeah! You lay that egg, yeah! Luigi wants to watch Yoshi lay the egg. Oh yeah! Uh, there are some people that aren't gonna know where that's from. It's from 
Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. There's a part where you have to feed some Yoshis to make them lay a special kind of egg, and Luigi's reaction when the, lo the, the Yoshi lays that magical egg. <laughs> it's just... Why did it have to be that? It didn't need a voice line for that. There's a little, a little bit of smut involved. <laughs> okay, that was great. <laughs> I love that. I have a shield, I can't tell. Is that a bottle cap? Oh, I can't let it go. Maybe I can, let's see. I'll do this. Be quick enough. Nope. <laughs> There's an animation for Yoshi getting crushed. Well, only I could find something like that out. my costume. Does my costume completely break? Just realized Yoshi's no longer in the hot tub. these question mark clouds. What's going on here? Oh, I see. It's a weighted door. Uh... I don't... Okay, I see. give it is. <laughs> okay, this again. A 
it doesn't have pump. Hmm. It would appear it's broken. Hold on. I'm overcomplicating it, aren't I? Yeah. I, th I thought that the pipe was broken, I had to fix it, but it's not. Oh, they all climb back up? <laughs> Don't even think about it. This is mine. Okay. I don't have to worry about it, I don't think. Oh no, I've missed the flower! How did that happen? Alright, hold on. Where is flower? Oh, I think I know what it is. I think I needed to put both of the magnets on that other one, up top. I'm not sure I can anymore, let's see. Oh, there we go. This is either going to be correct or I'm going to soft lock myself. <laughs> There's no in between. Nah, I don't think it's that. Okay. I thought maybe I had to climb that, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe up there? Hold on. Maybe up there. That one seems more plausible. Yeah, there we go. This part is great. Oh, no! I took damage. This way for me to heal. I need eggs. That should be enough. Oh, 
I need another magnet. fail on the health. I might fail on the health. <laughs> Damn it. I failed on the health. What happened to my hot tub? Oh, I even failed on the red coins. Alright, never mind. I have to read at this stage. Yeah, my hot tub's gone. I must have unequipped it by mistake. There we go. Okay, uh, I need to... fix this health and the red coins. There's probably a... one of those cloud question mark thingies. <laughs> Just checking it wasn't that. I don't think it's those boxes, then. I'm gonna keep an eye open. I don't think it's going to be anything convoluted, it's just going to be like a hidden cloud thing. Look at these cookies in the background, I kind of want one. They look quite good. Why do I get the fit? No, okay. I thought maybe I could jump to that middle thing. Everyone must go. Okay. 
I thought maybe I could walk. Like this was a path as well. No. It's gotta be something so obvious. Oh, wait a minute. What if... No, okay. <laughs> maybe. I thought maybe too hasty on that one. Seen anything yet? I could think of was like somehow climb up there, but I don't know if I can. probably do it, but I think that's just overcomplicating it. There's no way it's that. Like, it feels like it's doable, but I just don't think that would be the answer. Start, the recorder's starting to get loud again. <laughs> the recorder's getting louder and louder by the second. See what happens when you take out all the rats. Wait, oh, do more keep coming? Oh, it seems like there's always like a set number of them. All right, doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. 
one more. There's a coin somewhere I didn't get. Was like maybe there was a, another cloud thing there. This is the point of no return. There's one coin missing. Where? Ah, uh, I've ended up in another one of these scenarios where I've missed a coin. I can't go back. All right. For the sake of sanity, I can worry about it later. It's one, so it, hmm. It's definitely got to be one of those cloud thingies. But at least, whatever, the rest of it's done. Uh, I wiped out 15. I think this is the boss. I want to do this at the very least. Okay, now I'm feeling super well. Let me just get out of your way. Huh? Thank you so much. Say, how'd you find your way out here? On the hunt for gems, are we? Hmm. I saw an odd fellow in blue robe soaring above. Maybe headed to a graduation? Whatever the case, I got the sense he's up to no good, so best be careful now. It's probably wise to keep your gem mission under your shelf. Question mark. <laughs> Ooh. I hope it does the Yoshi's Island thing where Kamek comes in and brings something to life. That's where the nostalgia is going to hit. Wow. It looks so ridiculous. You actually get out of the hot tub. Did one of those gems really wind up around here? Pretty sure it was in this area. Ah, oh, shit, you again. <laughs> ah, how did he catch up so quickly? Wait a tick, could he have already found some gems? Nope. He hasn't even found one. He's completely clueless. Get rid of him so we can keep looking without him in the way. Understood your shortness. Allow me. I'm gonna make bird feet out of you, bub.
<laughs> I do appreciate that the animation was like all not smooth. Just to kind of mimic old stuff. Oh, that's just straight up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's Island Buzz. It's great. Thank you, Mouser. Those boss fights in Yoshi's Island. They're always so, so fun. They might not be the hardest things in the world, but... They were great. I love Yoshi's commitment to keeping the costume. Even though it might be weighing him down just a little bit. Like, I would imagine it's awkward to keep this costume up and do all these acrobatics. Okay. Oh, you're one tough cookie, aren't you? Well, this is far from over. Consume. No, okay. Let him live. Can't be as bad as trying to keep baby Mario safe. Oh, man. <laughs> that part is so good. Oh, look! It's... <laughs> I like that. It's like, no, green Yoshi gets all the glory still. Yeah, the screaming, baby Mario screaming in that game. That's a good stopping point for this for today. Gonna take a small intermission before we get to the next thing. Um, but if you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you've been enjoying the playthrough of this one. And uh, consider the button clicking if you want to support the channel. Or maybe there's two other videos that have popped up and you want to watch me do something else. So, hope you do. But we'll uh, continue this next time. Bye, YouTube.